CRA 3's Michelle Bandour is at Southside Pool today and explains why it needed to be fixed in the first place. Neighbors who live near Southside Park love it so much. They're constantly cleaning it up, mulching, planting trees, and just enjoying the space. I moved here so that I could walk my kids to the pool and walk my kids to the park, and we're not going to be able to do that. Sarah Cox is the president of the Southside Park Neighborhood Association and got involved right after she moved to the area two years ago. But her family has only been able to use the pool for one summer. Having it closed is like really actually hurting a lot of Sacramento. The city shut down Southside Pool last summer after getting complaints of swimmers getting rashes and staff discovered the fiberglass lining needed to be replaced. Sacramento Recreation Manager Jackie Beecham says the pool needs to be resurfaced due to the age of the facility and because of increased construction costs, there's a shortage of funds to complete the project. You know, it seems like we have to fight for everything and we're, we don't want to fight. <laughs> we want them to pay attention. The city is not discussing the amount needed for the repairs, but neighbors say they've seen reports where it could cost more than $1 million. So it's up to city leaders to make this, a, they said it's a priority, we want to see action on that. Councilwoman Katie Valenzuela has been working with the Neighborhood Association and says they have the funding for phase one. She wrote on Facebook, we know this will come as disappointing news for some of our constituents who love using the pool in the summer heat. We had a blast sponsoring pool days last year, and we're really looking forward to doing many more this year, but it looks like we'll have to wait. I want to see it happen actually next year because they don't have a date since there are no funds, and so that's why we are saying that the pool is closed indefinitely because there is no timeline. The city is encouraging the south side residents to use other city pools such as McClatchy, Clooney and Land Park. And Valenzuela says they are looking into providing free transportation to the residents who need it and want to get to those pools this summer. Reporting in Southside Park, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News.